All right, Pan Engineer here for Wink Sound. I'll be going over the difference between relative grid mode and absolute grid mode. So the difference between relative grid mode and absolute grid mode is that relative grid mode keeps it relative to the position it was before to the grid, and grid mode is just solid 100% to the grid. So as we can see here, I have some claps loaded. I'm in grid mode or absolute grid mode. So say we want more of a clap effect, I'm gonna go set my nudge value to samples and 100 samples. I'm gonna nudge this 200 samples, 100 samples. So let's see what it sounds like. Sounds like a little more of a clap. Relative grid mode, you get to by pushing F4 twice or just tapping grid. See these claps here that are off the grid? Well, if I wanna copy it, or move it, it's gonna keep it where it is to the grid relative to the position. Let me show what I mean. Say I wanna copy this and move it here, or copy this and move it here, and copy this and move it here, and this one. And as you're gonna see, they're all relative to where they were before. Say I was in grid mode and I wanted to do that. Get this, I'm gonna copy it, move it, copy it, move it, copy it, move it, copy it, move it and it line it up to the grid. If you have any questions, hit me up on Twitter, at Panda Engineer. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology.